Hey there, studio owner. You've put your blood, sweat, and tears into creating a brick and mortar business that serves your clients and impacts the community you love. You are my hero. And I'm pretty sure we could sit down and talk like besties do because I get it. I've had my studio business for over 12 years, a handful of kids, and a few passion projects that I love. Like this one. Hey there, I'm Melissa Rose, your visibility coach for the studio owner who wants more stellar clients coming through their doors, more bank in their bank account, and more time to hang out and be completely present with those they love most. In this podcast, we're going to share the nitty gritty of running a successful studio business, sharing stories, talking strategy, and learning practical tips that leave you inspired, empowered, and equipped to create your epic life every single day. So if you're a dance studio, yoga studio, Pilates studio, or a fitness boutique studio, you are in the right place. Add some kiddos into the mix and maybe a life partner. And I call you a rebel woman. Ready to dive in? Let's get real. Hey there, rebel women. How are you? I am doing things a little different today because guess what? It's summer and we are at the end of summer, which is kind of like the end of pregnancy. You know how pregnancy is always two weeks too long? Summer is two weeks too long. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. It just gets to be really crazy busy between... um, as a studio owner between enrolling and getting everything ready for the fall and then um, kids going back to school and everything being compounded. So for those of you that are dance studio owners, you get it, but we um, talk here to all studio owners, music studio, Pilates studio, fitness studio, whatever you are, I want your business, your studio to be the only option in town. All right. So that is what we focus on here. And today I want to talk about visibility, of course, but we're going to talk about being the best, being the only option in town because that's what I want for your studio. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to be the only option in town? (sighs) You guys, I am obsessed with that. That's why the podcast is called Brick and Mortar Visibility and the tagline used to be, be the only option in town. So when I started this podcast, I literally was told, I see you everywhere and you're the only option in town. When, When people walked into my studio, they said, you're the only option. You've come up, your business name has come up forever um, by all the people. So how do you get there? Well, this morning on my walk, I was listening to a podcast that referred to the Kathy Truett line and S. Kathy Truett is the owner founder of Chick-fil-A. All right. And he's since passed, but he left this wisdom nugget of in order to be bigger, focus on being better. And it just stopped me in my tracks again this morning as it did three years ago when I heard it because I was obsessed with getting bigger. I need bigger. I need more numbers. I need, I need more, more, more. And that's what we always focus on is more coming in the doors. And we really, in order to be bigger, we really need to be focusing on what to do better. Okay. Now that what could be anything, right? I mean, chances are your services are good, but what could you do better? Chances are your team is good, but how could they be better? Chances are maybe your onboarding or offboarding is good, but what could be better? So there's all these things. So the best time to learn at what could be better, number one, is during a crisis. (laughs) Like when things fall off, when the wheels fall off the bus, that is a great time to know, huh, this needs to be done better. It's very obvious. But a lot of you probably have things running pretty, pretty good. You're like, okay, this is good. It good. A plus, um, maybe B plus, maybe, maybe even C work sometimes gets the job done, right? But so nothing's really a fire per se, but what could be better? And it's harder to find those because we don't have the wheels falling off the bus. So does that make sense? So when we have a crisis, obviously things need to be better. But when things kind of seem, you know, are going or you're making it work, those are harder to fix because it's working. Okay. So I want you to really think about number one during the crisis, but then really number two, thinking about, okay, what do you have right now that is working that could be better? And are you making time for that? You all know, if you've been listening a while, I am very passionate about my morning routine. Now I, 
my morning routine has gotten to be something where I just genuinely don't miss it because I love it so much. And it's very luxurious. It's about an hour and a half of time for me. And this, you guys, is when I am allowing myself the time to think and to to listen and learn, but also to think, like turn off the gadget, turn off the podcast, turn off the book and think. So I do that daily. All right. And that's maybe when inspiration comes like, Ooh, I, I should work on this. This needs to be done. And I'll put it in my notes for myself to then delegate later on, either in my calendar or with my people. Another time is on the weekend. Like I am divorced. I know that is a little easier for me because I then don't have children and people bombarding me every other weekend. So that I I say that, you know, just, it is what it is. I get, I get a break there and I purposely use that break to think about the business. And then I take CEO days. If you have been listening, you know, I'm a huge advocate of taking CEO days. Again, that's a time to think and look at things and start implementing on what needs to be done. So downtime is huge. So I schedule it daily. I schedule it uh, weekly and then I schedule it monthly. Okay. So there's a lot of headspace that is meant for thinking forward and thinking, how can we be better? Okay. Because by being better, that is what's going to get more people coming in our doors. And then number three is asking the people around you. If you have a team, ask them. (laughs) We just had a team leadership meeting and I always close the meeting with what can I do to help you make your job easier? What could, what does that mean? Is it is it a new computer or is it a new tool for the, for the studio or prop for the studio? Is it, um, what is it, you know? And cause they're, they don't want to ask, they don't want to bombard you. You know, they, they know you're busy. So give them the opportunity and space to ask for it and make sure you're allowing them that time. Um, in that podcast with Shelly Warren, she talks about making sure we have those scheduled times where our team can connect with us and know that they can ask. All right. So make sure you're asking them, okay, how is this going? I always check in with Karen. Like how is, how is, what questions are you getting? Are we not, are we not communicating clearly, clearly? And she'll tell us like, I am getting a lot of questions on this. Well, that tells me we are not marketing it very clearly. So we need to tweak our copy. We need to tweak our graphics or whatever it is. So then I communicate with Mindy. Okay. This needs to be updated or we need to change the wording on this a little bit, or we need to, you know, shout it out more, or maybe we haven't been, and this needs to be a new focus on what we communicate to our people. So those are three places to really be intentional about paying attention. Okay. So we're intentional about when that crisis happens or when we have that downtime and asking our team, those three things. So now how, how are you going to make things better? Because you know, there's things to do, but it's the how, Okay, how are we going to make it happen? If you have not read Atomic Habits, I love this book by James Clearer. It talks about the one degree. If you just change something one degree, change your direction. Okay, I'm driving on the highway. You can probably hear that. And it is what it is today. Okay, y'all. But I'm driving on the highway. And if I just turn my wheel one degree to the right, that will make a huge impact at 80 miles an hour, right? It will make a huge impact over time as well. You know, a hundred yards, a mile, five miles, right? So you've heard that analogy before and the same thing with our business. So what little thing can you do right now? I'm a mama and I'm sure you mamas out there, parents out there have read the book, Give a Mouse a Cookie. You know that story where you give the mouse a cookie and then he'll want a glass of milk. And then he'll want to sit on the couch and then he'll want to do this. So I always feel like that when I start a project like this, right? I meant to just fix this to make this better. And you end up going down the rabbit hole because there's like 15 other things that need to happen in order to get that one thing done. So this is where that CEO day is so helpful, you guys, because it might mean, oh, We need to add an automated email after people register for this class. Let's just say that. 
Well, then you realize, shoot, this isn't this isn't timed out right. And now I really actually want to add a text and we should do this over here. And it ends up being like 15 steps that really need to be tweaked. And that's why I really am highly, like really want to say schedule those CEO days because that's where this stuff happens. Okay. Or I delegate it because then Karen or Mindy can take care of it and get get it done and just do what I ask. Like they're really good about just getting to the problem and and solving that versus going down the rabbit hole of like all the other things that could be fixed as well. All right. If you are like me and really struggling, like I struggle with just getting that one thing done because I see the problem and I see all the levels and all the things that need to get done, or you're so overwhelmed by that list of all the things that need to get done that you're like, I don't know what to do first, or I don't know what's right for my business right now. I see this could be better. I see this could be better. I know I could be better with managing my team. I know my services could be tweaked or the pricing could be tweaked. You have all these things that you know you could get better on and you're just going, I need somebody to look at my business and just tell me what to do because I'm in the weeds. I like to say I'm in the pickle jar. I don't know why I pick pickles, but pickle jar. Pickles don't have that much ingredients, you know, salt, uh, vinegar, water, okay, a few seasonings. You know, it's not that much. However, wrong order, you're reading it backwards, you're inside the jar, and you're going, I don't know what to do. So that's where I come in. I love helping business owners. That is my little secret sauce. I have been told, Melissa, you are able to look at it from a bird's eye view, dial in and figure out what is best for my business because you understand where I want to go with my business. You understand that I want to grow my business this way, or I want to grow it to this amount of team members. And then I want to bring it online as well. How do I do that? I would love to help you. I have two spots opening for one-on-one coaching. You can go to MsMelissaRose.com and click the work with me tab and one-on-one coaching. You do have to fill out an application first to see if working together is right. And then I just follow up with a phone call where we, um, a Zoom call for 20 minutes where we chat and just make sure it's a fit for both of us because what's the point in working together if it's not going to work for both of us? I love helping business owners get to the next step, get to the next level and become the only option in town. And we get to be the only option in town when we get better at running and doing our business. As business owners, I want your business to flourish. I want you guys to live your epic life every day. I do not want you to be running around with your head cut off and feeling like the crazy lady in town. I want you to be cool, calm, and confident, knowing that you have a business that is running for you, making you money, giving you the time freedom you deserve so that you can live your epic life every single day. If you'd like to come and work together, I invite you to go to MsMelissaRose.com and click the Work With Me tab and click one-on-one coaching to learn more. There is an application process, so please fill that out and then we'll follow up with a call where we can just make sure working together is best for both of us. All right, you guys, I'm at my destination. This was kind of fun. Let me know how you liked it. I felt more relaxed talking into my phone because this is what I do all the time, my... my um, baby number five. He goes, mama, when people drive, most people drive and they hold the phone up to to their ear, but not you, mama, you just talk into your phone. (laughs) And I'm always talking into my phone, whether it's with my team or my friends, this is what I do. So, um, it was nice to be with you all. I hope you guys are well, have a great week. We'll see you here. Same time, same place next week. Peace. Bye-bye.